Uh, my name is Kasper. I'm the co-founder of Pactum. And as many of you know in the industry, majority of your time goes to 20% of your suppliers, which are the most important ones. But 80% is left unmanaged because it just takes too much resources and time of yours. And it's quite obvious because if you have tens of thousands of suppliers who need hundreds of thousands of negotiations annually, you end up with millions of contract variations. For these multidimensional calculations, they're just too difficult for our human brains. Like our brains are not meant for these things. And this means you're leaving money on a table. And I bet this is right now happening in your organization. That's why we launched Pactum. First ever solution for fully automated end-to-end -end negotiation process to unlock that hidden value. I'll show you how it works with our clients like Walmart and many other Fortune 500s, how we create this bottom line profits to them. I'll screen share now. As a supplier, you receive an email. That email has a link and directs you to our supplier portal. And here you have a conversation with the AI that represents your company. So like a real conversation and negotiation, you try to expand the buy, we'll try to reach an agreement. I can first of all here in, in this example list my preferences, how I would like to increase our business. And, and then we can do offers, we can do counter offers here, we can see some payment terms, options, and etc. The magic behind this is that our AI knows the values of those terms for you. So it's able to make these complicated trade-offs automatically. Once we reach an agreement, both supplier and you will receive an email to talk with sign the contract. Once the signature is there, we update automatically your systems. Let's continue with the screen share. Once the systems have been updated, this is the view what you see. As a client, you see list of suppliers. What's the negotiation phase? Where are they? What's the percentage improvement? And what it means in dollars? How much net value we have generated? But usually our clients wake up in the morning and they come to their dashboard view. And this is put together with your category managers to support your KPIs. It shows here the funnel of signed deals, it shows the conversion through time and, uh, and improvement through time. And you can see each patch is improving through time because the AI is learning through data. But most importantly, you're interested on the bottom line profit. And in this example, we have generated $193 million pure profit annually. Thank you for screen sharing. I'd like, just like to conclude that on average, we improved the contract value by 4.2%. And for low margin businesses, this could be like 40 to 50% of extra profitability per supplier. So Pactum is not only about automation and efficiency gains. It's about creating new net value on autopilot. This year, we raised Series A of $11 million, led by Atomico. And together with that, we launched a full product portfolio across industries and use cases. So Pactum is doing negotiations in PO negotiations, uh, bidding negotiations, item level negotiations, merchandising negotiations, working capital negotiations, freight negotiations, etc. And I have to say proudly that we have succeeded with all of them. So now that you learned about how Pactum impacts the bottom line, you're interested to learn more. Please reach me out on LinkedIn, write me directly, and let's start the conversation. Thank you. Let's start the conversation. Hopefully, a conversation will start. But the next conversation we're going to hear now is literally from the jury members, unpacking a little bit more about what you've just shared. Over to you, jury members. Thanks, Casper, for that presentation. Uh, can you share a bit more about how a new customer gets up and running with Pactum? What do you need to integrate with, or, and how does the implementation work for this solution that you developed? Yes, a very good question. Thank you. So usually our clients prefer to start with proof of concept to see whether, because it's quite hard to believe it actually works. So the proof of concept usually is uh, two months for three weeks. We understand what is the negotiation space, what terms we're negotiating, what are the values of those. Next three weeks, we set it up to yourself. And then we have three weeks or four weeks usually of the pilot. Usually during the pilot, we don't do much automation. But then after the pilot, it's in that sense pretty simple that the system needs quite few terms like payment terms or some values or some uh, uh, existing rates 
we get those, whether in uh, financial systems or through SAP Ariba or through Coupa, through APIs, once we have created new contract, we just push them back via API code. Thanks, Casper, for an intriguing uh, presentation. Um, would you describe Pactum as being a service company or a data company, if we look at it sort of long term? And second, uh, Liz, just a quick follow up. When will you see the first algorithms done on the supplier side? There's no need to only automate one side of the negotiation. Oh, I love your questions. So first of all, we have to meet our clients' needs because our clients are the largest in the world. And usually, you as large companies, you want both, you want services, but eventually, in long run, of course, it's data-driven decisions. Like, imagine if you can do thousands of similar negotiations that we do today, how each next negotiation can improve based on the previous results. And of course, that has made us already a unique player because there are no other softwares like that, so uh, hard to compete. But... Uh, <laughs> What was the what was the second question? Sorry, I totally forgot. When will we see the first uh, ah, algorithm or bot on the supplier side? Yes. So we are already working with that with one one of our customers, because uh, to be honest, it's very true. If there are very transactional negotiations happening in every day, whether it's some item level uh, transactions or freight transactions, and you need to exchange information every day, whether you want this or not, or what are the rates. Then on the other side, it's very easy to build APIs next to us because our software is API first. So APIs are already there so that APIs can communicate. And then the user interface and language is not relevant anymore. So it really depends on the use case. In conclusion, uh, many use cases happen only once per year, these negotiations. And then suppliers want to have longer conversations. They want to invest their time in there to find ways how to increase their business. And then API doesn't work. Thanks. Um, thank you very much for your presentation. How does your commercial model look like? Do you judge by sourcing event or is it more value-based deals that you create? Yes. Again, thank you. Uh, this is, of course, I would like to have an easy answer, but I don't. Because what we have experienced, again, that each of you want to have different pricings and we like to meet your needs. All in all, we create so much value that we have always found ways how to share that revenue. Our best option, of course, would be to have a gain share model so that if we create $1,000, we take that cut. And if we create $1 million, we take the exact same percentage. And it makes sense because we have shared values. But in many cases, this is not desired. And then we agree on license fees uh, per negotiation also. Casper, thank you so much. Pactum, we will hear tomorrow. The, uh, the destiny of, uh, of Pactum in this competition anyway. So thank you so much and, uh, and good luck.